Hi all, in this video, I am going to do the demo how we can create and manage spaces in Gmail. It is a very good opportunity to the people those who like to do a collaborative work through the Gmail. As we already having a lot of experiences in the tool of Google Docs, Google Sheets and Google Slides, this also tool is a collaborative tool. Similar way, the Gmail is providing in spaces to all of us to do some kind of collaborative work. Let us join with me for the demonstration. This is our Gmail user interface. Recently, the Gmail changes their interfaces. So this is the new interface look. So here, if you see this left side, we have the options called Mail, Chat and Spaces. So this is the options I'm going to discuss now that is called Spaces. Suppose if you want to create a spaces to do some kind of collaborative work, just I have to click the spaces here. Once you click the spaces, the interface may look like this. So here they given a description of the spaces do more together in spaces. So particularly to take a group project, chat with your team or share your interests. So like that they given a small descriptions about the spaces. It seems that if you want to do some kind of collaborative work with your friends or with your colleagues, we can use this kind of better options to do a collaborative work. And here there is a two options. One is called create a space, other one is called browse a space. Suppose if you're already having a spaces, if you want to access the space, we can go to the browse space. If you want to create a new space, we can go to the create a new space. Now I'm going to do the demo how to create a space. If you click the create a space, it goes to a small pop-up window. So this is a small pop-up window. It also some of the basic informations. There, there is a space name. For example, I like to go with a project one. I can give this project one as a space name. And if we need to give a description, we can give this description, but it is optional only. So this is only 150 characters to be acceptable. In the case of uh, the space name, it will be 64 character. We have to type maximum 64 character. Once you click a create, it goes to my projects one interface. This is nothing but the project one space interface. So here you can see there is a one member because I am the member. Suppose I want to add the other member. If you click the, the down arrow mark, near to the project one if you click here i can find the option called view members add people view spaces details and and other information so other details are available here my intention to create a people to do some kind of collaborative work therefore i'm just click the add people then i'm typing a mail id which i like to connect with the people so i'm just typing piago suri cukela.az.in so here i'm going to this is here uh, I created the project in, in the space into different mail ID, but I'm going to connect with the other mail ID that is called Thiago Surya at cucalor.az.in. There I just click the add. So once I click the add, automatically the members to be added into this project or into the spaces. Yes. Now suppose I want to do any kind of um, discussions or chat with the people. I can use the chat option here. You can see there's a chat. We can type hi, then we can send to the people. So here, that another option called file. Suppose if you want to share any file to do some kind of collaborative work with your colleagues or with your friends, if you click the files, we have a lot of options to upload the file or to create your file here and just click the add file. Once you click the add file, there is a pop-up window. There we have the options called recent, upload, my drive, even in drive also we can access the file, share with the file and starter and computer even we can upload the file from your desktop or your computer so for me i like to go with some kind of uh, recent file so i'm just adding one ppt slide which i created yearly i want to share this ppt file to my co or my colleagues to uh, do some kind of collaborative work just time click the insert after selecting the file i'm clicking the insert once you click the insert the file to be attached here see here the file is attached then after that we can share to the people if I click automatically, it may goes to the people which I already connected with them. I already created a group now. So this is like a space group. So which are the people who are connected here? For example, if I click here, if you want to see this view members, I can see these members. So there is a members. Yeah, here there is a members. I am inviting them. One member. Suppose if you accept it only, we can, uh, the particular member can uh, access the file which you share from your end. So like this, I invited the people. So now this is a file option that I already demo how we can upload the file. Similarly, if you like to upload another file or share the file, you can click add file and you can go to the upload options or in a my drive or in a computer. Suppose I like to go with upload, I can go with upload from the computer, I can upload it. 
but now i'm going with my drive from the drive i like to share one file to my uh, co-teachers or my co-colleagues so here i'm sharing some other files here for example i like to send uh, there is a, a png file or any kind of file for example the youtube slide share links just i'm clicking here and click insert so i'm sharing this file also to my colleagues right so this way we can share it suppose if you want to assign some toss to your friends or toss for you go to the task and we can assign the task in this the task so we have some kind of options might becomes so there's called add space task there the options like title details and all if you need we can give it it otherwise just you can click cancel so this way the person those who created a space they can use this three options chat files and tasks now i am moving to the the other user interface that is nothing but i am invited one person no? in what way the invited person can accept your request after that, how he can access you your file so for this i'm just moving to the other mail id which are already sent this invitation see so once i shared no previously i shared this invitation to uh, join the, the particular spaces so automatically the particular person they may get this kind of mail notifications if they people click hit here they can find out this kind of option see the tiago surya has invited to join the following google chat if you if the if you like to join right just to click the open in google chat and uh, it asking to join there is an option called join if you click join the person which you invited no that person can access all the files which you share from your end for example this is another user interface that is our invited person's interface that person can have the same kind of option like chat files so what are the files we uh, you send to him it will be available to him then task so similarly if you assign any task that also is visible to him so similarly the person he like to talk to you or to discuss or to, he like to chat with you he can type something here so like this we can do any kind of collaborative work in his space so here also space is that this is the space for the the invited person see this is a space once a person click the space they can find out the project which is available here it seems that the spaces which is available here so hope these videos might be useful for you to do some kind of collaborate work thank you all we'll meet in the next video bye